What's up, guys? Welcome back to another episode of Plan Bree Uncut, brought to you by Pirate Water. It's for the ragers, it's for the parties, it's for the people that know how to have a good time. You could do that with Pirate Water. Pirate Water, it's a 10% ABV malt beverage. It comes in four delicious flavors. We have Margarita, Baham Mama, Sex on the Beach, and Miami Vice. Personal, personal favorite, probably Bahama Mama. I could slam only about two of those and then waste it. It's all you need, man. You really only need one. Like I said, 10% ABV malt liquor, tall boy cans, comes in four delicious flavors. It's for the people that know how to have a good time, less than two bucks. So if you haven't tried it yet, seriously don't know what the hell you're waiting for, but you can uh, find it at drinkpiratewater.com or find Pirate Water in a location near you right now on GoPuff. Uh, drinkpiratewater.com to find Pirate Water in a location near you or order it on GoPuff. If you haven't tried it yet, I don't know, I might come and beat you up. Try the fucking pirate water, okay? Let's get into the show. What's up, guys? Welcome back to another episode of Plan Brie Uncut. We got the sad girls in we the house. We got the sad girls, the mad girls, the girls who can't get it right. The girls <laughs> who can't win, the girls who always lose. You can't win, dude. Even when Mentally. I think I'm winning. I No, dude. Even when I think I'm winning, it's a downfall from there. I know. It's even like, when I'm winning, like maybe on the outside, mentally, dude, it's a loss. <sighs> <laughs> I, like, I don't even know where to go from there yeah no but like uh, that's fine you know you know what that's fine yeah it's come it's full circle man you yeah. know we've been waiting for this to happen we've been waiting for this crash you know man yeah that's just life roller coaster things were time? good things were good for a second you know what i'm saying always good you know what i'm saying <laughs> yeah. yeah yeah but you know what's wrong with you um i you know i let me get comfortable when i think i'm doing something good yeah why don't you get comfortable right, yeah. you good no. Come on, get comfortable. No, I'm just saying I'm not, I'm not good. Oh, yeah, no, that's no, yeah. But, um, yeah, no, when I think I'm doing good and then I and then I find out that I actually did really bad, that's what stinks. Okay. That's what stinks. What did you do so bad at? Well, I, I was, um, you know, here's my whole thing. It's like um, comedy stand-up. I am, that is a, a dream of mine. I want to be very good at it. Yes. No matter how many times I do it, and no matter how I do it, I walk away from it feeling so feeling defeated you didn't the last time before yeah but you i don't know it felt good i felt good yeah but that was the one that no no one was there and this time i had all my friends there and but i don't know different. it's only you were hosting yeah i didn't know the difference between hosting and doing a set i guess and i kind of fudged it all up but you know you can only get better it only goes up it's just like a, when I think you did fine. Being like, I think you're too hard on yourself. Well, yeah, I just always think I could do better. And it was that's like, f- f- you yeah. should be hard on yourself. Yeah, it's just like I want to walk away from it feeling like, yeah, yeah, and yeah. like I'm just not there yet. It was so your right first now it's show, thinking. yeah. And I feel like the comedians prepared, did great. Yeah, I mean, I think you did great, Grace. You I were think just maybe in it wasn't. I think maybe you just didn't prepare enough, like. Um, for in between, like I knew you knew we were gonna host, yeah. But like, I feel like you kind of went up there and just like it let it rip. Like, yeah. yeah, I was, I was. Well, I, I guess that's a host job is let it rip. And like, I, you wanted to mix in. Your I jokes. wanted to mix in my jokes, but yeah. they didn't make sense. Plus, I missed a lot of the parts of my jokes because I was just so frantically trying to figure out other things. There was so many. I don't think so many the people there. Around. Like, I don't think the people there knew that like yeah. they were just like mm-hmm. oh this is good but like we know because we saw you, you've seen your other shit yeah so like the people there were like this is awesome yeah it's your first time doing a brand new set part of like your job you know yeah. what i mean and it was so one it's, week thrown together one yeah. week thrown together i it i mean there was a lot of people there it it's, was I, oh my god it, it was awesome i felt bad for um i felt bad for all the the, the dude comedians because it was an audience <laughs> full of women <laughs> and it was not that crowd and it was not that crowd <laughs> francis texted me after up. he was like um he goes i really liked that crowd i'm like are you being <laughs> facetious like yeah. how <laughs> well he asked for another minute yeah. it seemed like he was enjoying himself up there that was the other thing i so as the the host producer you're supposed to like give them um the light when they have like a minute or two left and i i forgot i forgot i had to do that <laughs> so caroline was doing it for me okay and for everyone they're like how many how many minutes can i do i'm like as many as you want <laughs> like, i don't know i just i to cut people off seems rude to me but that's how you do it that's how yeah, you have you a have, show you have to have set time. at some point you have to cut people off long. yeah and, and it's like you, you lose the crowd on, yeah yeah you have to have like a test dummy to that know what test, works yeah. and what doesn't test, work. Yeah. yeah. And, and now you know. And yeah. And I know. Now, yeah. Now you make a list and now you just fix it next mm-hmm. time. Yeah. 
I think it was great for the first one. Thank you. Could have could have been a train wreck. The hell could have been. Oh my god. Yeah. Totally could have been. Totally wasn't. And it was cool. The cool thing about it was, um, it was all people who have helped me in stand up thus far. Yeah. So like, it was like a cool like full circle thing. Yeah. Um, Jared got mad at me because um, he he goes, um, it's fine because of you. Jared. Jared is one of the comedians that was at her show. Yes. Um, and he uh, he was the first comedy show I went to when I went to, um when I lived in New York and I did. When we first moved to New York, and I did his show, was my first show at the stand. But um, he was he was mad at me. He goes, "Yeah, like uh, I'll give you a pass because it was you, but uh, you totally fucked up my intro." And I'm like, "Oh, did I say the wrong thing?" And he was like, "Well, you gave away my first line, which is <sighs> I, was, I I before he went up, I said, all right, and he's probably gonna ask, are you are we chilling?'" And he came up. He goes, "Are we chilling?" Uh, I'm like, "Uh." That's I not thought, a big line to give away, though. I thought I know, I, but it's like his whole shtick. That, that's, like, uh, that's his whole shtick. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like he, that's how he opens every every. Um, so he's actually set. mad at you. He was like, <laughs> yeah, just like uh, don't do that again. And uh, so just slapped if it was spit, anyone else, spit on yeah. your face. <laughs> he was like, if it was anyone else, uh, I'd be pretty mad. <laughs> I would have shot him. I'm like, come on, man. <laughs> come on, Jay. But um, and then so when I first got there, I'm I'm running around frantic trying to get everything organized and ready to go, and Francis is like calm down you're good and I'm like thank you and he's like he I see him as my um my uh stand-up older brother okay it's like kind of guiding me through this yes. at, in the moment and so he very sits kind. me down he's very kind and he's like so have you ever hosted I said no he said okay <laughs> um a few yeah. things you need to know Gave me a list of like 20 things <laughs> I need to know right before we started Perfect. and I was like everything's out the window <laughs> I like totally, totally forgot everything he said, everything I had prepared. So I was all frazzled. And um, one of the things he told me to say was, uh, make sure you announce like no recording. Yeah. Because um, like comedians, like when they do a bar show, they're, they're practicing their their sets for like when they're on the road. Yeah. And they don't want other people to see it. The only person who recorded a video, unfortunately, was Noah. Oh. And it was for Francis's set. Oh. And I, I, I texted Noah the next day. I'm like, yo, can you delete this? He's like, what the fuck? Why? And I'm like, well, there's like this thing that you like can't record. And I forgot to say that part. And yeah. Did you was, delete it? Yeah. I just, it, it just seems like I, I'm like, delete this. Yeah. But I'm, for, it was for a reason. It's Anyways, a this reason. is a fucking sick episode. You're just talking about your comedy <laughs> show. People want to know how it went. I think it went great. I think you smashed it. You know who was supposed to come? Oh my God. <laughs> Dude, do you know? Yeah. Because <laughs> I come up to the table and, and it's like Hannah and Bree sitting there. She's like, oh, like Ashley's coming. And I'm like, who? Like, I don't know. I don't care about that random girl. She's like, no, like Halsey. I don't care I'm about like, that random girl. I was like, wait, what do you mean? Like, where's she going to sit? Like, is she going to sit in the booth? Like, and does Grace know? Like, I, I don't, don't know. know if it was a big joke the whole time. But our friend, our friend is Ashley's brother. And he was like, Who's Halsey. Yeah. <laughs> Um, uh, and we, he, when we got there, Noah was like, do you know who Savion's bringing? And I'm like, don't even, don't even, <laughs> don't even, because <laughs> Grace will that. literally kill herself. Oh yeah. And I, and I go to everyone around cause everyone heard it. I'm like, don't you dare <laughs> fucking tell Grace. <laughs> don't tell me and that. And the whole time I'm like sweating. I'm like, Wait, oh my God. <laughs> like, is she here? Like, is Grace going to freak out and see her and like have a heart attack? If she walked in, I would have started doing Bits I think it was a big joke. just probably wouldn't have hit. It was, I think it was a big joke, and he was just being a prankster. Yeah, he got yeah. me. Yeah, he, he got always, me. He I was stressed me. for you, and I was like, dude, what the fuck? I, I just I need to make sure it's not in her vision. Like, this is gonna be really bad. Put her Cloak in the back in the dark. Yeah. yeah, I was literally gonna like put her in the DJ booth. Yeah. <laughs> oh, that would have been fucking hysterical. Yeah, it would have uh, probably been a nightmare on the east side. Yeah. <laughs> Um, do you think uh, it's a good amount? You think you're gonna get wasted today, guys? Uh, well, it's a good amount. You it's guys a good amount for us. <laughs> I just repeated exactly what you said. You just like scared me. I know. I thought you saw a fucking ghost. What the hell? I am oh ghost. my god! <laughs> you looked over. <laughs> yeah, you started. Like, <laughs> <laughs> and I was like, <laughs> what? <laughs> Uh, so anyways, you guys think you're going to go instant? Uh, I, I, I hope so, yes. I, I believe I am. I'm having a taco night. Oh, taco, taco night. night. It's the, the, it's um, the white ladies. Margarita, Cinco de Mayo. Yeah. <laughs> white ladies love Cinco de Mayo. They oh, sure yeah. do. Oh, it's yeah. just like, the, oh, yeah, yeah, they're like, margaritas, tacos, quesadillas. <laughs> quesadillas. Wait, do you remember that one year we had a Cinco de Mayo party? 
uh, it's that random guy's backyard. Uh-huh. uh-huh. And Quincy. Uh-huh. And he was a, a much older man. But was a little bit 10 years older than us. You want to tell him what happened to you? Uh, I got uh, <laughs> walked in on. By me. By you. And also the boys whose room it was. Yep. Doing some gross stuff. 69. <laughs> <laughs> I walked in. Okay, we're going. I was upstairs. like a corpse person, dude. <laughs> we put all, we put all of our booze upstairs. <sighs> and they get a room. visual on this because this is what I was looking like. And so was the guy you were sixty nine with. It was yeah. two dead bodies. Sixty nine. Who thing. does that? They were, That was their thing, though. They would always get wasted and then go run 69? away together. No wonder oh. I don't <laughs> fuck no more. <laughs> but we, I walked in and I'm like, woo. Well, that's, that's gross. Sick, that's how you guys know that you're true friends because if you can see that and still be friends with someone, then that's a true friendship. I was like, whoa, oh that's a six to nine. Six to nine, baby. Three, six, nine. Damn, yo, not fine. Damn, yeah. And then it was the kid's room. We walked in with that guy. Yeah, let's get out of here. He's like, it's my room, bro. Uh, <laughs> uh-huh. We weren't really close with this guy. Either. Nope. No, I actually didn't know that the, nope. the man whose room it nope. was at all. Nope. He came home from down. work that I took way. Him downstairs. I think he came home I from the Marines, leave, though. I think he like came over from the Marines or something. Yeah, yeah, it was like a big deal. It was a thing. <laughs> it was like, like he, he just was... got like deployed or like he back had just found deployed. out something crazy. Yeah, yeah. and uh, yeah, and then he walked in on <laughs> disgusting number one and disgusting number two. You guys are sixty nine. Equals a six nine. <laughs> huh? What the hell? Uh, how old were we? We were freshman year of college. I was like, I was nineteen. Yeah. Yeah. Why did I, I gotta get you a visual of what I was Ohio. looking like though? Because I was like, I had a cute. We oh, we, we were so cutesy. We we all wore shirts. like matching like shirts in one way or another. Oh, it was adorable until we all blacked out off of. I was drinking a box of sangria to myself. Uh-huh. <laughs> mm-hmm. uh-huh. I got a bottle of Svetka. And I just remember I was freestyling. And I was with my XXX. Yes. Acacion. Oh, yes. And he loved to freestyle. He did. He oh, no. loved to freestyle. And he didn't. He was like a quiet mouse. And quiet mouse. And then, then all of a sudden he gets some juice in him and he's get freestyling. Some juice, get him on the mic. And I'm like, dude, you just couldn't get him away from this mic. Grace is upstairs 69 and he's Gross. on the beat. And I'm like, what am I supposed to do? I got two people I got to get under wraps right now. <laughs> like they're out of control. <laughs> Let's uh, let's see. Let's see what we got. I gotta find. I gotta find this because it's so fucking bizarro. Yeah, it was pretty insane. Uh, Cinco de Mayo. I feel like I haven't gotten really too excited for. Cinco. Oh wow! You know what I just remembered? What? It's my ex's birthday. <gasps> happy birthday. Oh, uh, hunka. Hunka hunka habu. <laughs> hunka, hunka, habu. <laughs> Should I text him happy birthday? No, I wouldn't. I think you shouldn't. Okay, I won't. <laughs> Sometimes it's fun. Oh yeah, I knew it was someone's birthday. I couldn't remember who it was. Yeah, it's uh, Saint Nicholas's birthday. <laughs> Happy birthday, Nick! Happy birthday, Nick! There you Hope go. you're doing well. Yeah, I hope you are, man. Good for you, man. Have a good life. And do you know how hard it was? <laughs> My mom comes to pick us up, and I'm like, Grace, we have to leave. Like, you have to fucking leave. She, t- like, n- tooth and nail. She was f- like, hands in the ground, wouldn't fucking leave. Yeah. Like, dude, you have to leave. And she's like, No, I'm staying in love of my life. I'm staying. I'm staying with the love of my life. I'm like, Okay, you stay with the love of your life. <laughs> and I don't know. I think you might have slept there. I didn't. No way. I don't know, man. That guy, but like that, that guy walked in t- in the room. Um, it was like it oh, was like two o'clock in the afternoon, and I stayed till dark. Yeah. I was gonna say, it looks like you guys are at some sort of day drink or something. No, 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 yeah, the sixty nine like, happened. Shirts? <laughs> yeah. The sixty nine was like I walked in and the like the blinds were up and there was a beautiful light on them. Oh, yeah, that's, that's gorgeous. gorgeous. It was gorgeous. Yeah, it was really gorgeous. It was like right after right that picture. Yeah, you guys crawled away. Liz said I look like Debbie Gallagher from Shameless. Oh. <laughs> She's sweet. Yeah. <laughs> so so yeah, that's uh that was the last Cinco de Mayo. I feel like I had fun. I celebrated. <laughs> I haven't yeah. celebrated Cinco de Mayo. I feel like um we haven't uh, been around for it. No. Where were we last year? I don't know. How? How? I feel like we were on tour. It might have been LSU one. Oh no, LSU. No, was LSU a was a couple ago. weeks ago. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, well, Hannah we sent me a impressive state. Yeah, at LSU. No, well, after, after the fact. Yeah. But yeah, after the fact. Yeah, I, I believe so. So now we can have some fun today. Yeah. Yeah. Except I have to pack. I'm going to the woods. And when you guys are hearing this, I will already be in the woods, crying my eyes out. And I'm very worried because um, this is a silly worry, but I can't post for a week. I mean, that's okay. That stinks. You could still post. Did you? That was my big question. Oh no, maybe we weren't allowed actually. 
And I was supposed to bank some silly, funny videos, but I got nothing to bank. Banked. A whole bank of tonight. It's a good day, mild bank time. Firing off. Uh-huh. <laughs> Let's go. Come on, come on. So you're uh, deep on the Reddit. Deep on the Reddit, yeah. Uh, I can't stop. An I, idiot. I, I do can't say. Stop. You guys are crazy. Why would you put yourselves through that? You guys have no emotional well, you intelligence. You know what? For me, it's kind of <laughs> it's opposite. The YouTube is what I read, and then I cry with the dozen, and then I go to the Reddit, and it makes me feel better. Yes. Whereas I feel like the other way, it's yeah. probably the YouTube makes you feel better, and then for playing Brie, yeah. and then the Reddit makes you feel makes sad. Makes me feel sad, yeah. yeah. I, um, yeah, you know, I just, I like to, uh, I like to really just give it, give it to myself when I'm feeling sad. Just like extra oomph. If I, I feel a cry coming, I'm like, I know it's going to make it fall. I know what the tears are, how I'm going to get the tears out. You guys are fucking fools. It's foolish, yeah. <laughs> and also, I want to go a whole, so when I'm in the woods, I want to go the whole week without reading any comments. Okay. And see how that makes me feel emotionally. Okay. I think that would be good, except I, the Comments on our YouTube are fantastic. I've, just, I've never seen a bad comment about you, so I don't know what you're talking about. Oh, the, I'm talking about, like, um, the stuff we do at Barstool. I mean, yeah. It's just, I Every mean. Com- I've never seen a good comment about myself. I mean, we did the rundown. I thought it was hilarious, and I couldn't wait to see, like, people agreeing with the fact that it was hilarious. And you think it was- the stoolies are going to think we're hilarious in any capacity ever? I come just, on, I wake up. I'd- wake up. And then, and then even um, Project Verified, I'm getting a lot of shit for that. And I, I, some of it's valid. I am super goofed up in that. I mean, it's a goofy, you were the bag of bits. I, like I know. goofed up. It's also a Just, goofy show. Yeah. I mean, it's a fantastic show. Yeah, but like, that's like the, like the nature of it. It's yeah. It's like a goofy, funny, I don't know. Uh, I've seen only good things about you on Project Verified, so maybe you're just looking at the wrong things. Maybe. Uh, also, the bad always outweighs the good. For some reason, like there'll be a million good comments and you read one bad one and it's all you can think about. Because these commenters, they really know like what to hone in on. Yeah. Well, because usually in the back of their head, it's something you're insecure about. Yeah. So Uh, always. That's why I'm like, okay, I'll just kill myself. That's why I can't read them because I would be dead. I'm just going to choose not to read them. Yeah. For at least a week. It's really nice. And if I could just get away from that, then maybe I could be... Or this is what I do. When you, when you start reading, you see one bad one, close them. Close it out. Because whenever I see the one bad one, I'm like, yep, it's time to go. I'm mm. out of here because if I keep going, I will keep going down yeah, that river. Yeah, like I can't stop, though. It's, yeah. like, it's like a drug. Yeah. Wow. It's like, oh, just fucking give it to me. Tell me how much you hate me. Yeah, but it doesn't feel good. It doesn't. It doesn't. So it's just like, oh, job. yeah, they're right. They think exactly what I think in my head. Yeah, they're right. Yeah, that's what I did. And then I go, yeah, no, I should quit. I should quit and never should be on camera again. I got to be an t- English teacher in high school. Yeah, no, dude. I was texting Brianna. Brianna says this all the time that she just, like, wants to get off camera because of all this bullshit. Yeah. And um, I finally cracked. And last night I was like, dude, I get it now. Yeah. It's fucking bullshit. Just want to be behind the camera. Just when you think you're doing good. They get you. No, like, like, um, I read it to you guys before we started, but uh, I woke up to this fucking DM. It's this, it's just like the same fucking crazy lady. It's, it sounds like the same crazy lady that was at the comedy store that was giving me shit. Oh yeah. She's like, Grace, you are not a fucking clown. You are. F- this is at. Oh, this is at two sixteen a.m. So she's, you know. Oh, she's wasted. She's probably. I don't know. Grace, you are not a fucking clown. You're funny in your own right. If you ever, s- if I ever see you again acting like a fucking clown, as I did during that fucking show, I'll beat your ass and you. You are better than this. You are not a fucking clown. I pray to God that wasn't your own bit. You fat, drunk, and stupid is no way to go through life. Like, I just Excuse can't. Me? I just. Let it me blows see what that lady looks like. That people that take the time like. out of their day to send that and being like, "This is this will help her." Like, I mean, this you know what? Make this, her feel good about right. herself. I mean, she's, she's on math. Yeah. She's on math, and she's you're everything she w- she wishes she could have been. But like, it's, but it's, she didn't make it out. She didn't make it out of Rockland it's just it's here's my thing about this she thinks she's helping me though. yeah it's crazy she thinks she's giving me like the backhanded compliments are crazy oh, it's just crazy man and so if i'm not reading if i'm not reading comments i'm still getting those fucking crazy DMs. yeah you it's know like, what sucks is like i i used to answer all my dms 
like the positive ones but now i'm like scared to even look at my requests because i like I, if i see bad ones i'm like i just go spiraling so now i feel bad i can't even answer like the good ones yeah and it just ruins everything for everyone i know just stop being a fucking cocksucker a hater a hater like you hate, hate like, with your friends dude how much do we have to say this just send it to your group chat send it to yeah. your call group us chat. bad names in your group chat don't say it to us what did we do to fucking you nothing bro we don't even know you exist no you're a jerk it's you're so a fucking so jerk it's a fucking jerk oh, this God. is um actually i I sent I sent you this TikTok um the other day. It's um let me just find it real quick. Sorry, there's a lot of pauses. Is it alright? It's got a editor for. Yeah. Yeah. Let's go. This this don't even come up for a while now. Um, this girl. One time I accidentally sent a girl her own Insta pic. Did you see this? Oh no. I said, One time I accidentally sent a girl her own Insta pic about her losing weight and said, "Hard work pays off my ass." This bitch has been doing blow every day for eight months. I meant to send it to my best friend, and she responded, "Yeah, and it looks like you could use some too." I've never recovered. <laughs> Oh my god! I mean, that's just straight textbook. Dude, like, that is epic. That, that is why I double check when I send something to you. Dude, we every always time. do it in high school. Every oh, every time in high, high school, school so much because you would screenshot the text. There would always be drama, and then mm. you would send it right back to that motherfucker. Ugh. Do you know how much trouble I got myself you into? You know how good you have to get at lying. Yeah. Wait. Like, oh, dude. Wait. Should I tell? Have I ever told the story about when I like cheated on my boyfriend in high school and like I was getting blackmailed? Uh, I don't think no, I've ever told that. I don't that. even think I Yeah, you recall. do. Oh, yes, you do. Okay. Oh, yes. oh, yes, 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 yes. Okay, yes. Okay, wait. I don't feel like I've never <laughs> I told you. I you're talking this. about... No, 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 no. <laughs> like, I don't know about all that. <laughs> no, 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 no. Okay, so my senior year. Remember I told you guys on this on the pod about the bet that me and my friend had made where it's like, <laughs> I'm going to fuck this guy. It was like the two hottest guys in our grade. And mm. I was like, I'm going to fuck this guy. And she was like, no, I'm going to fuck this guy. And we were like, the first one to fuck this guy gets the, by graduation, gets to punch the other bitch in the face. <laughs> That's a good bet. <laughs> Obviously, the punch has never happened. But <laughs> it's not, it's not monetary <laughs> because nobody has any money. It's just, it's just a beating we in the no- ass. <laughs> <laughs> you lose, so you get beat up. Like, Fair enough. Okay. Let's spit on it. <laughs> I think we did. We were in the, we were at like a woods party. on it. Yeah, we were like a woods party, uh, fucking with a big bone if I all wasted saying oh, t- I'll punch you <laughs> anyways yeah. so we get to we get to work this was like I think it was like at this point like three months till graduation uh I, I got the deed done mm-hmm. uh but I did have a boyfriend at the time yeah I did have a boyfriend at the hey, time. It's high school. It's fuck. I was sixteen mm. or seventeen. <laughs> I was seventeen. So uh, and borderline groomed. So. Uh, yeah. <laughs> I mean, more I look back at that one. Yeah. Jesus Christ, I've that been groomed a lot. Crazy. Yeah, I've been groomed a lot. <laughs> so motherfucker, yeah, I cheated on yeah. your ass. Come on, <laughs> yeah. come on. How old was he? Nineteen. Uh, he was uh nineteen when I was sixteen. Ain't no thing but a G mm-hmm. thing, baby. That's I had up. braces. <laughs> hey. It's okay. He was a good guy honestly but yeah. uh you know he was just i think he was fundamentally uh, a couple years back in age so he didn't really you know yeah. but anyways As most men are this was a long time ago so that's why i can finally talk about it but anyways so i get the deed done i smash this dude i'm not gonna say where i smash this dude <laughs> oh no yeah Mom. uh-huh uh it's a big mistake a okay for, a forbidden place <laughs> a forbidden place <laughs> a forbidden place um so anyways i smash this guy he's also my best friend mm-hmm in my friend group, been best friends since we were fifth grade. Uh, anyways, we do that. Wicked weird after. Mm. Super weird. I'm like, why the fuck? Why the fuck did I do that? That's just wicked weird. And then a couple weeks go by. We kind of get over the fact. We have like all of our classes together. It was together. like months. Yeah. It took a couple months for you guys to get back. No, no. The, after the fight. Oh. Not after the smash. Okay, yes. So that's coming. After the smash, uh, we have all our, our classes together, and we're, like, best friends, and it was, like, weird for a couple of days, and I just remember being like, okay, we can't be weird, because no one can know about this, because yes. it's, like, my cousins found out, like, who were best friends, like, it just was, they all know now, but, like, they couldn't find out, it was, like, the big, you know, that's, like, the biggest thing in the world yes. in high school, so I was like, this cannot happen, whatever, so uh, I also have a boyfriend that I'm going to college for yeah. in the other state <laughs> in Ohio, yeah. so a couple couple weeks go by, we're all back to normal, never happen, we're best friends again, mm-hmm. then uh, the girl that he's been on and off with all throughout high school, uh, this, the guy that I smashed was a slut. 
Mm. He was a slut. Dirty slut. High school slut. He was like the hottest guy in our grade yeah. our, of our town. So, of course, he was a little dirty slut. Yes. So, he was Snapchatting a bunch of hoes and he was like being <laughs> kind of weird. He was weird. He was weird. He's been weird too. A lot He's of us. He's still weird. Yeah. yeah. Um, yeah love him though. Yeah. Uh, yeah. But uh, <laughs> so, this was all back in the day. Yeah. This was when we were literally 16. But yeah, anyways, he, he was Snapchatting other girls around, but I didn't know he was still talking to the, this girl. Yeah. So, she's also my friend. And I like, obviously, I'm a girl's girl. So, I'm like, oh, what? he's like been he's been sending some weird snapchats out she runs back and tells him i wake up to these crazy fucking calls from him being like so wait sorry so you told her about the crazy snapchats he was sending yeah because they were they had just gotten back together that week okay and then she runs back to him she runs back to him and says brianna told me this and he's fuming and he's like okay i'm gonna ruin your life i i wish i saw the text dude i have never been like i was like my life is ruined i remember i'm in bed i'm like i have to kill myself i have to go to community college so he sends me this big text like you dirty fucking slut i'm like bro i have i've had sex with two people um (laughs) you dirty fucking slut like you fucking you you're a cheater you ruined my life so i'm gonna ruin yours i'm gonna call your boyfriend right now and tell him fucking everything and i'm like just texting him back i'm like please no like i'm literally going to college in that state for him no this cannot happen and then i remember i didn't go to school the next day Mm -hmm. because i was literally that it was that fucked up and he had it over my head for so fucking long like i said we have all of our classes together so the there's like three weeks left of high school yeah and all my teachers i remember my english teacher coming up to me being like what is going on between you two because like he would just walk in and the usually just know yeah and usually right. like he'd walk in he'd dap me up like we'd talk sit next to each other he'd walk in give me the look like that oh. and i'd just like cower and i'd be like so I just had this, this like inkling on me that like I'm always I'm he's gonna tell he's gonna tell he's I'm, gonna tell. I picture him as Randall. Yeah, Randall with this like, yeah, he's coming to get you. Oh, he's coming to get you. And he just had so much power, and it was just it was so terrifying. It was so terrifying. Uh, he never. I finally like I sat him down a couple months later at senior skip day. See, I know I was gonna say senior skip day was the big was when we squashed the beef. Yeah, because so I was like, please just come, let's end this. Yeah, and. Uh, we squashed it, I thought, I thought. And then a lot of time went by and he never told him. And now I told him. Hmm? Now I told the ex. Oh, yeah, here it is. Yeah, but yeah. I mean, we were 16. That's all we're 16, on yeah. Now. yeah. And you were old. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And then I still went to Ohio. And I, he's uh, dating that girl. So it all worked out. Oh, God. <laughs> yeah, it all worked out. It all worked out, man. Yeah, that was the scariest time. Oh, I thought you were talking about Ohio guy. You know, no, he's dating that girl. It's yeah. all worked out. No, no, no. Yeah, <laughs> Good for him. Everyone got what they wanted out of yeah. that. Yeah. Honestly, everything works. <laughs> That's kind of crazy. It's kind of crazy. That's kind of crazy. Do you ever wonder, okay, do you ever wonder what we would be like if we never left? Um, yes, I would have moved to Southie. Okay. First step. I'm saying we didn't. We just oh, stayed. We just stayed. Um, I don't know. Sorry if you're watching this on YouTube. It is the most disturbing lighting that you've ever seen, but quick commercial break, guys. Uh, this is created by fans for fans. Game Time's the ticketing app that makes it easier than ever to score last minute deals on tickets to sports, concerts, and shows, and they guarantee the lowest price. Uh, I've been using Game Time forever. Also, the Celtics, big boss and gal here, they're, they're in the playoffs. So if you want to get some tickets to the playoffs, Celtics game, use Game Time. Uh, we also have Billy Joel, Drake coming up. It's summertime. All the events are happening. It's not summer, but it feels like it. Okay, it's really nice out today. And once it feels nice out you want to get out and start going to these events going to concerts going to shows going to games so make sure you're using game time to do that it's possible with the game time app the biggest uh, last minute price drops can be found on the seats that you thought you could never buy so you can download the game time app or go to the website enter your email and redeem code plan Bree for twenty dollars off your first purchase uh terms may apply everyone is always using game time i love when you guys send the shows that you go to and say that you use game time it works all the time so download the game time app or go to the website enter your email and redeem code plan Bree for twenty dollars off your first purchase terms may apply make sure to check it out game time back to the show Cause oh, I'd probably be a manager somewhere. <laughs> I was going like, to say, I'd same. be a really good manager. Because, like, all of our friends, like, they stayed, because they were, like, they have, like, jobs and, like, yeah. real things. Like, if I stayed, I would be in trouble. I yeah. I, I, <laughs> like, our friends are doing well. Yeah, no, they're doing fucking great. And we'd I, be the junkies. We'd be the losers because <laughs> we wouldn't know what to do with ourselves. <laughs> we'd be all confused. We'd be like, damn, I really thought we were destined for something else. I'd Fuck. still have four jobs, but be the manager of all of them yeah i think yeah and, and be like this is this is 
This is good. This is good, and it would be good. It would be, honestly, because we wouldn't know any other. Yeah. Yeah. And it's just, uh, maybe I'd, you know what? I'd probably be, like, starting to try to be, like, an entrepreneur, like, one of those aggravating ones. Yeah. Like, I'm, I'm going to start something. You guys are going to get behind it. All my friends going to get behind yeah. it. I'd be on a pyramid scheme, for sure. Oh, yeah. 100%. Absolutely. 100%. Yeah. I'd be, like, selling shampoo that gives people full-on cancer. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And I'd be really selling it. Yeah. I could sell it. Mm. I could sell it. But then my moral, my moral, uh. My moral heart, my moral code would smash. At one point, when we when we were trying to figure everything out, like we were trying to drop out of college and stuff, you were like, oh, "Maybe I'll be a hairdresser." Oh yeah, don't. You can't just hair. be a hairdresser. No, yeah, I was like, "I'll just go to hairdressing school." It's like, dude, what? <laughs> I don't know what the fuck I'd do, man. Ah, uh, yeah, no, we'd be in trouble. Yeah, I'd probably be having a kid. Oh, oh, you know what? No, I'd be. No, I'd be like a housewife or something. Yeah. Yeah. I'd be like Already? a uh, uh yeah, for real. Because it would be that or I would be I'd be doing a pyramid scheme. And yeah. I'd be like, dude, this is uh, this isn't it. I can't do this. I would well, think I'm start I I would I would think I'm gonna, about to open a restaurant cuz I'm oh. I'm already a manager of four oh, restaurants. And you'd be in so much debt. And so I'd be in so much debt and it would <laughs> fail uh -huh. and I wouldn't actually know how to run it. We'd try to open one together. Yeah. And we would have oh, no yes. idea. Oh, mm -hmm. we'd have so many ideas. So many ideas and we'd just keep um We'd have the space, uh -huh. but we just keep changing it. Yeah. And we keep saying, oh, dude, I don't know. Like, I don't really love this idea yeah. and just keep changing it. Yeah. And yeah, I just repeated myself. But yeah. No, we it's keep full changing it. No, we change it. <laughs> we change it. Oh, I wish we had a, oh, I guess. Yeah. I'm going to get well, wasted. I'll get wasted. Yeah, why not? Yeah. I don't know. It's fucking Cinco de Mayo. I feel like I should join you. Yeah. <laughs> right? Yeah. Cinco de Mayo. Oh, I wish we had the margarita one. Okay. Let's play truth or drink. Okay. Fuck it. Okay. Okay, we just One copped episode. our uh, we just <laughs> copped our uh, popped up pirate waters open. All right, truth or drink? Who is your least favorite coworker? Coworker? Because mm -hmm. <laughs> you're going into the woods, you have to get in the mindset to be evil. Oh, this is good. This is yeah. good. Um, my least favorite coworker. Um, and it has to be real because I'll know if it's someone not someone that really I don't get along with. Who do I not get along with? <laughs> This is not going to work because you're going to say someone and then you're going to text me in two hours being like, can you cut this whole segment? This every yeah, time. Literally every single time. You're okay, right. wait, wait, do it, right. do it for, for the woods because okay. you're playing strategically. You're going into the woods okay, with a bunch woods. of people. So like who would, who would be your enemy in the what woods? What if they see this while we're in the woods? They can't. No phones. We're going to have our phones. This isn't going to come off. Okay, fine. Do a different question then. Um, Make your own question. Okay. Okay. <laughs> uh, <sighs> Brianna. 69. <laughs> Do you miss 69ing with Stop him? Stop it. <laughs> Stop it. 69ing. Think of things to say. Ooh, okay. Will Compton or Ooh. Caleb Presley. Not smash or anything. Just like. Oh, Caleb Presley. Okay, I was going to say. That's a given. Okay. I'm, I, I don't even know what I was thinking about. I All thought right. you were going to say kill one of them. Oh, yeah. And I was like, I wouldn't kill Caleb. He's my king. Yeah, no, you can't kill He's actually immortal. He's immortal, yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I he hasn't aged in years. I think he's really immortal. I think he sucks little baby children's blood. Okay. I thought you were going to say something weirder. No, 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 no. Do you believe in the Illuminati? I don't. Okay. Do you? Yeah. You do? I like to believe in something and I don't believe in God. Dude, I was literally <laughs> thinking yesterday I was so down bad. I was like, I would start believing in God if, if someone could give me a real. I got there a couple months ago. Dude, if somebody could give me like a like a really good synopsis of what they believe in, uh -huh. I I need I need something. Yeah. Because like just living for nothing is kind of getting old. You I know? know, I know. I might uh, like the Dude, hippie shit. Uh, we were talking about this yesterday, like because you know how like Catholicism is so like old it's so just like like there's no there's no way you can bring new young people into Catholicism no. and then like enjoy church. Yeah. It's so boring. Like you, if you like go to like a, youth a Protestant group. church, yeah. Oh, but that's usually that's Protestant, not Catholic. Yeah, yeah. like they, they need to spice up the yeah. Catholic church. We're saying like, what could you do to spice it up? They got the same instead of altar boys, instead. altar girls. I, well, I was an altar girl. <sighs> yeah, but like just delete altar boys. Yeah, delete them. Yeah. Um, the priest could wear some um, prince esque. Jazzy outfits. They need to read. They need better lighting in the fucking churches, man. They need to it's sleep lighting. I'm just like. They need to remarket. Every they time need I, better prayers, bro. They're not even catchy. Dude, the only time I go to church is <laughs> they're, they're not. No, they're like I'm like. What? They have some fun songs though. 
Christ has done. Christ has risen. Christ will come, come again. again. No, 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 no. no. It's a great day in Bethlehem. No way. Oh, that's so, in the stable in the back of the. Oh, that one's kind of catchy. No, yeah, they need beats, bigger. man. They gotta get the motherfucker off the piano. Well, that's what yeah. they do now in those like um. Uh, like youth group churches, yeah. you know, where they like sing the songs and it's like a kind of hot guy It's singing. always like a hot yeah. young uh, And the church pastor. is like ginormous and you're like, where did you get all of this money for this 9,000 yes. million square foot church? I saw, a, I saw a, a, like a skit the other day and it was like this dude and he was like pretending to be a pastor and he's like, yeah, dude, and, like if we don't fill the house of the for the EDM Christ, <laughs> yeah. Christ <laughs> segment that we just did, we're not going to be able to go to Disney next week. We have to go the week after. <laughs> after <laughs> it was funny but yeah, yeah no uh ch- church needs to rebrand uh church needs to rebrand and maybe you fucking got me man I, I, i'm a lonely man like, and here's the other thing when we had friends who would come to church with us when we were kids they'd be like y'all are sitting in some uncomfy seats yeah like we are just sitting in the pews yeah you couldn't wait to get on your motherfucking knees I and maybe that's why it was all that that was all fucked up why oh, did all that shit. fucked up shit happen you're dying to get yeah. on your knees because mm. they wanted yeah they made you so uncomfy on your ass that we can fucking get on your knees it's and then you can go backstage backstage on the big altar stage mm-hmm. and get on your knees because you just it's muscle memory <laughs> fuck dude um uh, that's crazy this is when i at church is actually when i decided i'm i'm probably a narcissist and i love i love a crowd I, oh. I always wanted to go up uh, for like first communion. Oh, I was begging yeah. to give one of the uh, Me too. one of the things. I loved that. And read that. I loved public reading. Yeah, I loved it. I was first wanted to read in class all the time. The popsicle stick. I was begging to be called. I was begging. Oh, and when in class and we did um we did plays. Oh yeah. Oh, let me get the biggest lead. Yeah. Let me get the biggest lead. I don't even know. We're biggest not even role. standing up. No. But I'm I'm in. I want crucible? the most lines. Give me. I want to be. Who's the crucible number one? Uh, I want to be Putnam. Proctor. I have uh, a Goody l- Proctor. Yes. Yeah. Literally blocked all of those. I literally <laughs> went to a Catholic school and I've blocked everything I've learned out. I even wanted to sing and I couldn't sing. I will be like, I want that song. I have the glow. Oh, banger. Dude. In excelsis. <laughs> Dude, wow. School's yeah. a crazy time, man. You know what would be kind of crazy just to... Go rip church one day, huh? No, fuck that. <laughs> no, it gives me like a chill. It literally gives me a chill down my spine. I know, yeah. it makes me I sick. I honestly can't even really walk into churches without being like, I, I feel so nauseous. I know, it's sick. Like, like, you just know, like, there's a 95% chance a little person was touched there. Oh. The and it's just Begging like, to get on those? Yeah. yeah. And it's sad. It's like, it's the same feeling I get. Like, so we have a Catholic, the Catholic, the Catholic I'm talking, We're talking Catholic. And, and we we're, all, we're talking our own experiences We can all talk here. this yes. because you have at least one person in We've all, all of our had, families like, got raped. We've all had one traumatizing yeah. Catholic yes. church experience. Yeah. And um, I will say, you know, like um, we have a friend who, when she walks into a hospital, she gets like queasy. Thanks. That's how I feel about mm-hmm. church. Yeah. yeah. Same. It's like I went for my niece's first communion. That's the last time I've been to church. Yeah, it's, it's got to be like one of those special things, dude. Even that, I, I know. Like, what? The yeah, fuck, it's just bro? weird. It's just like a weird little weird. Dress these little kids up. I tried to go to um, forgetting the name of it, the Duomo in Milan, and I was showing my shoulders, and I was oh, like yeah. fifteen, and they didn't let me into the church because I was showing my shoulders, and I'll never forget. My dad went up to like the person who was in front, was like. <laughs> Do you think Jesus would have let, <laughs> not let her in? Like they were like, oh, like get out of here, whatever. And then I just I'm had sorry, to sit. Sorry, so this is the Vatican. I just had to sit outside, and while oh. the rest of my family got to see it, it was I mean, fucked yeah. up. I was watching a Jewish matchmaker on Netflix last night. Okay, banger. I wish I was freaking Jewish. Yeah, yeah, they really did it right. Yeah, they've got it all down pat, and they're just like they're just like happy. They just seem smarter. They like their their religion is like fun. Yeah, they have like um like uh, what is it? <laughs> the, um, like not right there. rituals like rituals not like um um right there. Like, you do it ever you do it all the time and you just uh, traditions traditions they have yes. traditions yeah yep, you got they, there you got they, there they have traditions <laughs> and I think it's sick to have traditions like yeah. like you do this one on yeah. certain times and, and even they were all sitting down for family dinner and they just start singing their song and their songs are way better yeah and they, <laughs> they have like their own they, they they speak a different language and yeah. it's just cooler yeah I was like damn I wish man. But uh, yeah, I don't know. I guess we'll probably never go to church anytime soon. Funerals, weddings. Yeah. That'll yeah, be it funerals. for me. Yeah. I really don't want to get married in a church. Mm-mm. No. It's just so boring. No. And I don't want to get, I don't want to have the whole funeral thing at, at the church. No. And that's just, so having a wedding that's not at the church is normalized. Mm. Having your funeral somewhere else is just completely wrong yeah, and different. Yeah, that's true. Where do you 
get where else would you do it i don't know like throw it like a wedding instead uh, like put some money aside have it be like a wedding like a celebration of life instead of wasn't there always a f- after party for a funeral yeah no it's, those rock yeah. we get wasted we're irish catholic yeah. so we go fucking hard yeah i love those those are always like a good blast and then you tell funny stories of yeah. like the person mm. who died that's always fun so i just want it to be like don't don't fucking pray for me like don't i just don't want to do be prayed for because i don't even believe in that yeah but it's just weird because it's like okay then why are you being buried and like wh- then you should just be body should just be thrown away if you don't want to be turned yeah. into a tree mm. i like that yeah. my, my mom my mom's so like um or a diamond Ooh, Ooh like diamond. That. that's so fancy of yeah. you yeah. that is <laughs> that's fancy. everlasting yeah. love someone yeah. can wear me on their neck <laughs> oh like, this is my dead friend <laughs> this is my oh. dead buddy it's like yeah. a bunch of little diamonds this is my dead yeah. grandma <laughs> um, my mom my mom said that she doesn't want to be cremated or buried I'm like well you gotta pick one <laughs> there's no other options babe flagpole stuffed American flag yes I've always been saying that I did <laughs> <laughs> you do be saying that or my my big idea shark shark throw me into a shark's mouth oh. with a thing of dynamite that explode and everybody gets to pick pieces up from the beach that would Take be epic me. yeah oh I thought you just wanted to sink oh no throw me in a shark's mouth and then I threw the dynamite in oh, there Mariana dynamite Shrench? big firework oh celebration of life i don't want you i don't want a piece of meat on my face mm. meat to meat wall to wall no thank you coochie to your ball i just wanted you to get swallowed by the shark and then explode in the ocean and then you are the ocean yeah i like that i like it's that beautiful. better than your body mangled yeah you don't need my beach. body meat yeah. you don't need my body meat yeah. no way we don't need your meat all over the beach <laughs> <laughs> and we just gotta clean you up yeah it's like yeah. it's a whole mess yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah um i had a thought last night what if you can't hang out with someone one on one, they're not your friend. Yeah. What do you guys think? I would agree. It's a with thousand that. percent. It's like everyone's got these friends, and it's like, oh, it'd be weird to hang out one on one. Then that's not your buddy. Mm-mm. Yeah, you gotta be. Yeah, you gotta be able to chill one on one. That's that. That's all I had. Okay. Thought it was gonna be more of like a no. Nah, well, wait. No. Uh, well, okay. It could be your buddy, but not like your real friend. Yeah. Like yeah. just like a fair weather friend. You know? But it's like in, in my old age, it's like, like why am I even keeping this person around if I can't hang let's, out one on one? Let me ask you this. Yeah. Like what kind of what kind of one on one hangout are we talking? Like we're talking like sit on a couch and chill all day, or like go get a drink together. Because I feel like you could go get a drink with anyone. Yeah. Because a drink is a common denominator. You you could talk about oh we're getting a drink. I love yeah. this drink. But if you're just like hanging out on a couch one on one. I could get behind you with that. Yeah, no, I think it would be that. Like, come over and chill type of thing. I, But, like, sometimes, like, I've had friends in life where I'm, I don't even know if I could have gone out and got a drink with them. It would be too awkward. Yeah, that's valid. And then no longer in my life because we weren't actually friends. I know, but then, you know I'm, I mean? and then I'm like, am I awkward or are they awkward? And then I'm like, am I so awkward? I am so awkward. I'm just like, I don't know how to, I could say, hi, I don't know how to keep a fucking conversation going. If you're not going to say anything, yeah. then I don't know what I'm fucking supposed to say. Dude, there's nothing worse than being stuck with someone and you're just pulling teeth. Dude, oh. and I'm always trying to make them comfortable. Yeah. So I'm like always asking all these questions and I'm like, do they even want me to be asking these questions? Am I being annoying? Yeah. Should Imagine I just shut doing up? Sor- recruitment oh gosh oh, it's oh, quick. god awful They're, they did the, they new did the documentary. documentary my big yeah. dream come true it comes on may 23rd i'm so excited i'm so excited for this i'm very excited when did they film it two years ago i hope that it's not I like clickbait know. and like it actually exposes it i, I feel like it's totally gonna be clickbait i know but me they, too. they're gonna get so sued if, yeah. it's not, if they show things up yeah yeah i don't know if yeah i don't know how it works like look like, with the legalities but it would it's just crazy. I mean, they talk about like the machine, which is like this like totally unspoken thing at Bama. I don't really know like the logistics behind it, but like you're really not supposed to talk yeah, about it. Yeah, I saw that. And yeah, I don't know. It just seems what's, crazy. What's the machine? I don't. Let me look it up. Like what it says, but it's like something at Bama. Like they control, um, like everything that goes on. The machine is like the they control pan is a coalition of pan Hellenic sororities fraternities that formed a secret society with some degree of influence over campus and Alabama state politics. Yeah, so like they're all in on like who gets voted for student government and like I don't know if they wait I zoned out. Can you read it again? <laughs> <laughs> it's a coalition of pan Hellenic sororities and IFC and NPHC fraternities that formed a secret society with some degree of influence over campus and Alabama state politics. What? Let me see. Scroll. So Scroll. what were you saying? Uh, basically, it's uh, I saw some kid posted that his fraternity, not even at Bama, they used to the machine would run like. The, the the frat would and the sororities would run 
who gets voted for student government at their school, oh. which I don't know how big of a deal that is. Like, does student government ever get anything done? That's my... I Ooh, have no High School Musical, that show is gas. This <laughs> says, over the past 30 years, the machine has been suspected of in cross burnings, election interference, and physical assaults on students. Sounds like mm. a real-life transformer. One former student <laughs> blames the machine for putting her under so much mental duress that she was forced to transfer schools. The machine? Why the do machi- they got to call it the machine? It sounds devilish. It's literally a transformer. Yeah. That's crazy. I just pictured the machine. All like the militia coming board. all in. Yeah. <laughs> God, man, the machine's crazy. I saw something about how they rank like all the top sororities. The fraternities get mm. to pick what the sororities are like ranked the highest just based on how hot the girls are yeah so that's why like this uh, that i mean sorority they the didn't top. start letting people of color into sororities at alabama until 2013 are you shitting me no. like actually yes what? 2013 is what? that I'm fucking crazy what? No, wait for, dude, for fraternities and sororities uh i think sororities but let me look it were, up were people of color rushing or they were just like i don't want to be fucking part of this i don't um Alabama. Shane That's, Gillis has a funny bit about um, how they wouldn't let... Desegregated. It's been five years... This was 2018. It's been five years since sororities at Alabama were formally desegregated. What? That's yeah. fucking crazy. 2018 is when that posted. So yeah, 2013. And, and so, so that was just, was probably... It was just legal. Hush, That's fucking wild. Yeah. And I bet still to this day, there's still so much race, racial undertones and they just like do the diversity like token. Like, oh, no totally. way they're, 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 No way they're not racist just all of a sudden. That's fu- the machine has to be racist forever, it, right? I mean, that shit runs deep. Yeah, apparently like, that's like an all-white society. That's oh so my fucked God. up, dude. Yeah. How, this how is why we always say we hate the fucking South. I, I mean, yeah. I mean, you, you give us more and more reasons. I know. That's how, how the fuck, dude? I just don't get how that's like allowed. Shane Gillis has a funny bit of how um, like they wouldn't let um, black football players in, in for the college teams. And then all of a sudden they like let like one guy in and they were like, oh, yeah. He's actually a lot better than the rest of us. Uh, let's get let's get um uh, more. It's like it's crazy. It's so fucked up. Yeah, yeah, that's crazy. It's very very sad. I just it it that it, it just shows how different like the two parts of the country are. I know. I mean, they're so I hope this. I hope the documentary really shows everything. Yeah, me too. Because the, I saw a girl like reacting to the um, trailer, and she was like, "This might end." I saw that. Like Greek yeah, life I saw for that all. Too. And she was she was all giddy, and I only watched some of it. Is she like in it? She said she's like the first voice in it, but oh. I don't know if she's like actually in it. In it. And is mm. she against the sorority? Or seems yeah, like it. Yeah. Like it. yeah. I went, did they have so? Do you guys know the premise of it? Did they have like undercover people? Apparently, uh. I know. I know someone from. Um, a, a newspaper tried tried to do this last last rush and they got caught. Mm. Yeah, like I think she was wearing spy glasses for real. <laughs> well, that's why they need to come to the spy store with us, and then we'll get them the real equipment that they need. What were we gonna spy store the other day that we really should have? Oh, I said I should. No. Never mind. <laughs> <laughs> Illegal. It says follows four female. <laughs> Follows four female University of Alabama students during fall 2022 rush as they rush sororities at college. The film comes more than a year after Greek Life Hopeful sharing videos of their rush experiences. Made Bama Rush a TikTok sensation. All right, guys, quick commercial break. This one's funny because me and Grace always talk about how we just sweat through all of our clothes. Like, Grace sweats through her pants. I sweat. Like, I, my stomach sweats. I'm just fucking sweating everywhere. And the warm weather is here, which means you're going to be sweating. I mean, me, I sweat all year long. So Lumi is perfect for you guys, for me. It's absolutely amazing. So it's a deodorant that keeps us smelling nice when we want it the most and where we need it the most. So this deodorant is made for your whole entire body, which is fucking awesome. So it's clinically proven to block odor all day and control odor for up to 70 two hours okay so you don't need to keep reapplying it it's also created by an OBGYN who firsthand normal knows how normal bo is and can be misdiagnosed and mistreated you can do that uh with lumi so it's best-selling scents like lavender uh sage clean tangerine and fresh alpine you'll smell better than ever and you don't miss their new scents miss cucumber and soft powder sign me up I mean, there's so many different scents to come from to try. They all smell amazing. So if you haven't tried it yet, make sure that you're looking for Lumi. And like I said, it's for your whole entire body, which is amazing. I feel like I haven't really seen that anywhere else. It smells so good and it actually works for up to 72 hours. So Lumi Starter Pack is perfect for a new customer. It comes with a solid stick deodorant, cream tube deodorant, two free products of your choice, like mini body wash, deodorant wipes, and free shipping. 
We have a special offer for our listeners. So new customers get $5 off a Lumi starter pack with code BREE at lumideodorant.com. That equates to over 40% off your first starter pack when you visit lumideodorant.com and you use code BREE. So like I said, special offer for our listeners. Our new customers get $5 off a Lumi starter pack with code BREE at lumideodorant.com and equates over 40% of your starter pack when you visit lumideodorant.com and use code BREE. That's spelled L-U-M-E, deodorant, okay? Make sure to check it out. The shit is awesome. I'm sweating right now. You can see the sun on my face if you're watching this on YouTube. Make sure to check it out. Lumi deodorant. Let's get back to the show. Okay, so here's the other thing. Remember those bitches who blew up? For, yeah, like for, Kayleen. What's her yeah, name? Yeah. Kylie? All these Michaela. Michaela. People still fucking with them or is it only she, during the season? She kind of had. Oh, so she. Has to only be she in kinda season. She kind of had um, some Mental time. Wait, didn't she leave girl. it? No, no. The blonde girl who was like, oh, have a great day, not a good day. Brown, she didn't get into any sort of, oh. right? Oh, yeah. And she ended up having to transfer. Yeah. yeah I don't, I don't know she had what, to, what she happened She had brown to her. hair. I don't remember what happened to her. But I know that. She fell off, bro. What is her name? <laughs> have a great day, not a good day. Kaylee? Have a great. Oh, God. Oh, she has a baby now. What? No, she did <laughs> They're all the same know shit me. about fuck. They're literally hey, all Kylan, the same Kylan, right? Kylan, 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 Kylan. Yeah. So there was like this whole Are drama. Are being mean? <laughs> I don't care. <laughs> You're racist. Well, apparently this girl's a mean girl. <laughs> so many girls, yeah. <laughs> no, I'm saying that she's racist. Uh, oh, yeah. Not her oh, specifically, yeah. but you know what I mean. No, um, apparently what this is, girl's a mean girl. She was oh, like word. friends with this girl who like they went through rush together and they had this whole drama about like her not having room for her in the car and like all this stuff and it was crazy. Oh, she's oh, a little bad person. Worse than that, dude. Like a bully. One time I was hanging out with some friends who I thought were my friends and they were not my friends. And then all of a sudden, they must have been texting each other while we were all pre-gaming. And then all of a sudden, everyone in the room, in the kitchen, it was like 12 people. They all got up and they got in their cars and they went to the next location, left me there. That at someone else's was, house. That town is the most despicable it's insane dude it was crazy i'm i'm standing there i'm like that was like not even like the first they have done multiple things like that oh, to you. they were so mean, they were dude. so mean That's to traumatic. you it, it was, was fucking crazy fucky like I, it was like movie shit warfare it was like, like movie shit and it wasn't just and it, i mean obviously it was youtube but they would like pick they would just pick their victim yeah of the week and then they would just bully the shit out of that person and then the next week you want to go out so everyone's just uh you're like oh, oh we're gonna forget about week. it yeah. yeah that's honestly how my middle school friend group used to be like every month there was a new person that was like kicked out of the friend group and like that just got like the meanest text sent to them and shit and That's so crazy yeah. well, and, but i really feel bad because i was that. a part of it but like i was also one of the people that was like always kicked out just, so like, when rotated. i was brought back in i felt like i had to participate or yeah, else you, i was the next victim it's like a yeah. cycle yeah. yeah you have to be top dog or you're gonna yeah, get kicked exactly yeah. yeah it was uh yeah and it was fucking asinine totally yeah that's crazy too. I think it was because that school was so big. Yeah. Like, no one was, like, really that close. Or you could just rotate people out. Like, our high school, before you left, like, our friends, well, we had, like, 20 friends max. You couldn't just bully, you couldn't just bully each other. No. Like, because you can't do that. It's like, you're just, a, you're just a bad person, and now everyone's going to be like, you're a bad person. Yeah, mm-hmm. so you're actually just, like, not in the friend group ever just, again. Yeah, because you're being a bad guy. I just couldn't believe. Oh, when you was... went there, and, like, you would call me and tell me this shit, I was just like, what? Because I never experienced, I didn't think bullying was real, to and be honest. It, I yeah. thought it was in the movies, bro. Because, like, the <laughs> shit, I was like, dude, no way. I would, dude. I would have loved to have that mentality. I was, was like, because I had never seen that or, like, experienced that. It was just so crazy, the shit you would tell me. And, like, you followed everyone on Finsta. You're like, dude, why is everyone in your town always crying? Always crying. Because it was bully central. Oh, my God. It was, like, it was shocking. It was so fucked, dude. Oh, there were so many things. I wish I could, like, remember them off the top and of my head. I remember when we had that three-month break. I'm like, damn, bro, I feel bad. Yeah, I'm dude, like, I was going must be through going through it. it. We were too stubborn to reach out. Yeah. I was like, damn, that sucks. That's a bad <laughs> town to be alone in, man. <laughs> yeah, I was uh, going through the trenches. Yeah. I, like, I want, like, I quite literally, like the movies, would eat lunch in the bathroom. Yeah. Like, it's crazy. It got to that point. Yeah. Mm. I know, like, the, I remember I seeing Finstas of everyone else being like, eating lunch in the bathroom today. Yeah. I'm like, okay, so who's eating lunch this day? <laughs> it's crazy. It was crazy, dude. Yeah. That's yeah. just a traumatic, traumatic time. We had like 12 people drop out of high school yeah. in my grade. That's crazy. And like, it was like. Not because like they like had, they were bad at school probably. Just because yeah. it was just like so hard. And like the school just like gave up on them. Your school, like, you that just, school was so terrible. It was so twisted. Oh, I got, so if you were late for school, you got, so you got two passes a semester for being late for school. The 
the third time you're late for school, you get a two hour detention. Yeah. And then if two hours, two hour detention Damn. and the hours would just rack up. Yeah. So if you didn't go to detention that day, like the next time you were late, you got another two hours. And at one point I had like 16 hours combined and to go to prom, you needed to get rid of your hours. So I was doing two hours before school <laughs> of five right. o'clock in the morning to um, seven. And then like three hours after school. And at one point I was like, I'm the queen of detention. Yeah. You've been so I them. ordered a pizza in detention mm. and the, the timid teacher, the poor thing, she was like, you can't eat that in here. It's a science lab. I go, all right. I, well, first of all, you were when, kind of a badass. Well, I, I just was fed up with the whole way this fucking place was ran. <laughs> mm. So I was like, you know what? Fuck this shit. I'm going to be a bad boy. <laughs> you and were a bad boy. I was a bad boy. And she was like a teacher's worst nightmare to have in her class. Yep. Because I was like, fuck this. I'm going to be funny and I'm going to do what I want. Oh, that's the worst. <laughs> yeah, I know. Well, they ruined me. So I ordered the pizza on the phone mm -hmm. before like DoorDash or anything. Pizza gets delivered to the front desk after hours. Front desk goes, there's a pizza here for Grace O'Malley. I go, yeah, I got to go get that. And so I left his attention, said, I'm going I'm to go to the bathroom. Like, I literally just heard you get a pizza delivered. I bring the pizza back. She's like, hey, you can't eat that in here. It's a science lab. I'm like, all right, yeah, sure. So I, <laughs> I'm a prick. I took a chair from the science lab, put it in the hallway, dipped one foot into the room and said, I'm still here. And oh. I'm eating my pizza. And I'm like, anyone want any? I'll be done with this in a second. Oh <laughs> and then everyone God. would rotate sitting in the chair That's with one hilarious. foot in, one foot out. Oh, my God. Yeah. A detention beast. I got another detention for that. Uh, <laughs> uh <-huh. laughs> and when the, the vice principal called me into the office, they were like, what, what's this with you ordering pizza in detention? I'm like, listen, I did two hours before. I didn't have lunch money. And then I did three hours after school. I was fucking starving. Mm. And they were like, well, you know, you can't order pizza during I detention. Why can't you order pizza? I'm why like, can't you eat during detention? I'm fucking hungry and you're wasting my time. Detention mm. didn't teach me shit. Yeah, you just sat there. I just sat there. Sometimes sometimes you could use your phone, sometimes you couldn't. It was just fucking brutal. Your school did Saturday detention, which was pretty brutal Saturday too. Saturday school, yeah. Yeah. Saturday school. Oh, but yeah, it wasn't Saturdays detention? Too. It was school. Well, it was just school. If you were slacking on your grades? Um, I think... I don't know. I never had detention. I had Saturday school once because I was failing physics. And then I just you went once and I just butted them up. And I, my teachers liked me. Yeah. So I was just like, oh, I'm here. And then they <laughs> passed me. Mm. Yeah. The only teacher that liked me. Well, the only teacher that I liked. I don't know if she liked me. She was my um, speech class teacher and my English teacher. And um, we, we were allowed to give a speech on anything. I think I've said this on yeah, here. Yeah, you have. And I did a speech all on her and I found pictures of her online. And she kind of got freaked out. But I gave her a best teacher of the ward. English teachers are the best. They are. Yeah, they, they are. They care about you. Ever. Yeah. They molded me yeah. into the woman I am today. They yeah. are. They're like uh, nurturing people, I, I yeah. believe. Except one. I have one uh, English teacher that I loved in school. He got me into all my writing and shit. Uh, uh, got a couple crazy DMs from him a couple what? months ago. You working for that motherfucker. Oh, don't yeah. Write. I'm like, oh. what? He's like, don't be silenced. This is disgusting. <sighs> I'm like, bruh. Bruh. <laughs> Please. You were smoking weed with the kids. Don't make me go back <laughs> to the motherfucker mean. principal, bro. Come on, Come man. on, man. I bought a 10 bag off you before. Let's go. That's crazy, man. You can't do you that. You're goddamn mind. You're goddamn mind. I had an English teacher that would, like, give me a new book to read every week because I was, like, I, I'm still a huge reader, but I was even more in high school. And one time she gave me um, Girl Interrupted, mm. and she was like, this I feel like would really resonate with you, and I was like, "What do you mean what by are you that?" Trying to tell I was like, me. "Super suicidal." Yeah, I was like, right? "Are you saying that I'm crazy?" Yeah, <laughs> basically, it's about like a suicidal girl yeah. goes to a mental hospital. I was like. Mm. Okay, um, I'm just gonna ignore you said that, and I, I'll, I'll read it. I'll yeah. read it. <laughs> I will was, read it. That's I, I, crazy. Thing I know. To say. I know. But I loved her, so I was like, maybe right. she's like trying to look out for me, but I don't really know. I was. Um, I, I made a TikTok the other day about how I got kicked out of student council for having v, wearing V cut shirts, and I've said mm. this on here before, and just because I had boobs in in high school, but uh, I mean middle school, and I was gonna put the teacher's name on there, but she's she's old, and I. And retired because I looked up the directory because I couldn't uh -huh. remember her name. And the funny thing about looking up the directory, we're at the age where a lot of people we went to school with are now teachers there. Oh. I was like, I'm reading down the names. I'm like, 
What? Oh, I want to. You're look a at teacher. That. That's yeah. like crazy. What the hell? I know two girls. Who I thought you were gonna say all of our teachers now. were dead. Oh, that too. <gasps> That's what. I, uh, or retired. Uh, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. That would hopefully the second option. Yeah. 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 <laughs> yeah. Besides one, I'll yeah. be dead. Mm. Sorry, she's a bad yeah, woman. She's a bad one. Uh, it's all right. I'm just kidding. I don't want to watch death. Hey, I love teachers. They, I they, do. They shape yeah. my youth. Even the bad ones, they make good stories, and you know, they, mm. they turn you into a little bad boy for a little bit. Yeah. yeah. You know. Yeah. This is what it is. It is what it is. Our, our friends are actually um, graduating and being teachers now. Yeah. Like I want to be a teacher. Two ready friends ready to, ready to teach it up. Yeah. I think I started this episode with saying I want to be an English teacher in high yes. school. Yes. Yes. Yeah, so I, so. I. I want to be <laughs> senior year. Yeah senior english teacher because i feel like that's when like kids are like fun and they're like they kind of give you a hard time but they're yeah. not as much as like a pain in the ass as like a freshman yeah and middle school it's just like no i don't want to deal with bitchy middle schoolers no. and then little you, kids it's like you think if you're a high school senior though a senior teacher you're gonna try to smash your students no brie all right that's good well that's they, good. i mean some of that's them good. turn 18 some of them turn 18 I'm, I'm no uh, that's terrible i'm just kidding i'm Come just on. kidding too <laughs> yeah <laughs> No, but it's no, crazy, but is... dude. It's crazy when the dude fucks their teachers. Mm. The g- woman teachers, they're legends. And they... then when the, the girl fucks the guy teacher, it's a bad problem. It's a bad Ugh. problem. They're both problems, is yeah, what no, I'm so saying. Can ever imagine I'm looking saying. at an 18-year-old boy when you're 27 or 28 and being like, yeah, like, I would want to kiss you on the lips. I know. Like, I can't even date baby. someone one year younger than me right now. I, yeah. like, there would be, like, some of those younger teacher girls. It was always the women. And they would be flirting with the students. And oh I'm like, you are God. so clearly flirting with my big crush right now. Like, I know, and I'd get off. mad because the boy always loved the yep. hot teacher. And I'm like, dude, dude she's not going to fuck she's you. She's not going to fuck you. I, I will. <laughs> I had this guidance counselor when I was in middle school. Oh, she was the biggest bitch. The only reason I liked her because she got Taylor Swift to make a video for us when we graduated in that eighth grade. That is very cool. That's but sick. she was the biggest cunt. She hated all the girls, loved all the guys, and she manipulated all the boys because she knew that they loved her and thought she was hot. And she would uh-huh. wear these inappropriate outfits and bring them into her office and manipulate them into telling her stuff about the girls. <gasps> so fucked up. She was it's a mean like, girl in high school. Of course she's she did, she's just it's peaking right now. She yeah. ate it up. Like I oh. wish I could say her name, but I'm not gonna. But she had those boys tell stuff about the girls that were like just intimate secrets. And it was just fucked up. Like, and then she would call us in and then shame us for it. Oh, my God. Yeah. That's fucked. Hate her. She could <clears throat> kick rocks, that yeah. bitch. That bitch, yeah. yeah. It was disgusting. Like, you're literally like a 29-year-old woman talking to 12-year-old boys flirting with them. And you're a guidance counselor. You're supposed to be giving guidance, not yeah. ruining their path to totally. success. Oh, was totally. a guidance counselor? Yeah. Yep. I guidance a- counselors always smash, in the movies at least. Yeah. Life's a movie. Um, I had a guidance counselor. She hated me so much. She just gave me away to another one. Yeah, mine got arrested. <laughs> mine. Co- she came in all drunk with water bottles oh, and crashed yeah. a crowd of DUI. That's stinky. she did have that red convertible though. I was like, how you afford in this? <laughs> yeah, the- you are stealing money from the You're company. Stealing jewelry <laughs> for someone. Come on, what the fuck? Oh, have we ever talked about the drama in our in our town where um the the elected officials were fucking? Uh, I don't know. I don't know if we should do that. Yeah, that's a good idea. <laughs> <laughs> that's all right. Uh, I got to go in 10 minutes, though. All right. All so, right. Uh, mundane pod. I thought it was pretty great. Yeah. I think yeah. we'd sh- shock some shit. Yeah. We talked some shit. You, you some shared a, 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 an intimate secret. I know, and I'm so scared everyone from home is going to be mad, but I'm like, dude, we were 16. Can we just get over you it? Yeah. a kid. Also did not give away any names. No names. Ugh. I feel like everyone cheats on their high school boyfriend. I did. Oh, yeah. I don't care about fat, yeah. but I'm thinking about they're going to be mad. Whatever. I was oh, just guys. waiting for mine to pick me up for prom. I still am. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. You said that. <laughs> we should have a prom. Oh, yeah. <gasps> that would be fun. I didn't go to my senior prom. That'd be a good vlog. <laughs> Prom's not fun. Let's have a freaking ball. A gala. Ooh, a, a gala. gala. <gasps> I really would want to do the a gala. The new Met Gala. <laughs> the new Met Gala. <laughs> and it's very... White trash edition. No, <laughs> it's very like, if we invite you, we invite you. If you don't, you know, people would be so mad. Like, maybe yeah. get on the list next year. Oh yeah. my God, let's do it. Oh, I'm in on that. Oh, yes. Let's do I it. I like oh this. God, Any excuse to wear a floor length gown, I'm in. Yes. And we should raise money for a cause. Yes. Oh, I like that too. Yes. The ASPCA. Yes. That's a good one. Yeah. Yes. Okay, we'll figure it out. We need to get <laughs> we need to get our what are we gonna call our gala though? Um it has to be something similar to Met. Because it needs to be the 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 vet gala. The vet gala. And we have veterinarians come with animals. The mm. set. <laughs> the set gala. We have a big set. <laughs> the rat. The Met. bet gala. The rat gala. What do you think we should call our Met Gala? <laughs> <laughs> yes, let us know in the comments below. 
uh, we're going to record another episode right after this. So yes. we're going to still be silly and goofy. And I'm still physically in the woods right now. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Me and Gia are at a Morgan Wallen concert. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Tipping our cowboy hat. Okay. Okay. All right. Talk to you guys on Thursday.